All right, so if you watched my last video, the car was driving really good. Today, we're gonna make it drive even better. I got a GK Tech eccentric throttle wheel, and I'm gonna put it on and see if there's a difference. All right, so it comes like this, all covered up so you can't actually see the wheel. I forget how much this costs. I've had this for a very long time. I bought this before I even started the rebuild, which if you wanna see the whole rebuild series for the SR, I'll put a card at the top, you can watch that, but I've had this for a long time. The reason I didn't install this during the engine rebuild is because I wanted to see the difference. So I've driven the car quite a bit, so I wanna see if I'll notice a good difference when I install this. That's why I waited before putting it on. Some tissue, and wow. Oh my God, very, very light. It's got these holes cut out. I don't know if that's for balance or looks. I'm not sure. Jeez. All right, take your ratchet, 12 mil bolt. We're gonna pop this loose. All right, so now I'm gonna take off this cable. Get a flat head, move the spring out the way. I'm gonna take this and the washer off. I'm gonna work this spring again. Keep wiggling, all right. I took this bushing off. You're gonna need this bushing though, so I would just put it back on. And there is a gap in it. That gap, make sure you put it in the right spot, okay? All right, so when you're putting on the wheel, you're gonna see instead of this being a hole in the middle, it's like a slot. The actual bolt where the washer and the nut goes is slotted, I guess you can call it. So that way you know the correct orientation for the wheel to go on. And if you look at it, you can see where the cable goes and then you can kind of just figure out that it should be going on this way. I'm gonna put this back on. All right, so I got this on, tightened it down. Last thing I need to do is put this back in, which I tried once already, because I forgot to hit record and it's kind of hard. Here we go. All right. It's not closing all the way. We might have to do some adjusting. Just adjusted these two nuts to where it kind of was before. So it closes fully and now I need to make sure it opens fully, but I'm by myself. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna zoom in right here, go press the throttle pedal and make sure it's going all the way back. You guys know how the Florida weather is. I'm sweating like crazy, but that's finally finished. All right, so I'm gonna turn it on right now. We're gonna know right away if it's not installed correctly because if it's misadjusted or it's off, it's gonna have a high idle once I turn it on. I'm gonna pull out the Jenny and then I have to go to UPS to return these packages and that's a little drive. So that will be our test run. Registration.
return these packages and then after that we can get a couple actual pulls since the car is pretty warm now. This is what I was talking about. And that's not oil. It's it's clearly carbon, which I mean, I don't know. It's just I guess it's kind of normal for the car. I mentioned in my last video I need to raise the back. I'm gonna quickly measure like the side skirt area and I'm gonna make sure that the car is actually higher in the front than the back because remember I don't want it to be leaning forward when I raise the back like half an inch or an inch. So that's looking like five and a half. Oh wow, okay, okay. Off bat, the car is, this is six and a, close to six and a half. So that, that's good and bad at the same time because I have a one inch jacking effect, which I kind of want the jacking effect for driving. If I can do the front one inch and the back one inch, that'd keep everything with a one inch jacking point and the car would be higher up, but since the fronts are maxed, I have to do the one inch or maybe just half an inch in the rear. We'll still keep half an inch of jacking, so that would work out actually. Y'all don't know about this trick. All right, this cover has been off for so long and I forgot, so I'm gonna put that back on and make the inside a little more aesthetically pleasing. The spiders all up in here. Welcome home. They think these spiders think my car is a home. Like it's so annoying. That looks way cleaner than before. Today is Tuesday and there's a car meet tomorrow in Pines, which is about an hour drive for me. I wanted to make a video on that, but my upload schedule is Wednesday at 7.30 and the meet is like at 8.30 or something. So that's gonna have to be for next video, unfortunately. First car meet in the 240, that's like actually a car meet where the 240 looks somewhat put together and it's driving good and everything. I was thinking about cleaning the car up. I might like wipe down the hood a little bit before the meet, but there's not a lot I can do because I can't really wash the car. One thing I do need to do, I've been needing to do this for a long time. So this is Hirokuno's Midnight Garage Milk Tea Decal. 
and that's in the front and on the back i have osaka street rough style decal heroes a big inspiration so that's why i have his decal osaka street rough style drives with jesse streeter which i have his decal on the side i've actually gotten stuff imported from him and then obviously i cannot forget casey from shirts tucked in i got his mini nobury too on the inside so i have everything except my decal we're gonna be putting on some vinyl decals today i don't know if i'm doing one or two but I gotta rep myself, you know? You guys can buy these, they're pretty cheap. Shipping is free. If you go to the website, link is in the bio. You can also find it on my IG. You can find it on my channel page. It's linked everywhere. It's teamvandal.net. So if you wanna buy one of these for your car, make sure you do that. They're amazing, they're high quality, they stick to anything, and they're super, super durable. So make sure you cop some of these in the store before you get off this video or after the video, but make sure you do it today. I don't like putting stickers on the quarter window. I just don't like the way it looks. Never have. Probably never will. If you guys want to see pictures from the meet and all that stuff follow my ig i'm gonna put it right here or right here i don't know it's on the screen right now follow my ig so you can see when i go to the card meet i'll be taking pictures of people's cars and posting and all that stuff so that video will drop next wednesday because today is wednesday for this week the card meet video is going to drop next week wednesday and um that's it so i'll see you guys next time Thanks.